Good morning students. Today I am going to speak on the poem Broken Heart. This is a poem by John Den. This is the image of the poet John Den and let me tell you about this poet. John Den was born in London. He is an eminent metaphysical poet. He prominently wrote love poems, religious poems, elegies and satires. His writing is primarily known for his metaphorical and sensible st style and his use of extended concepts. He prominently deals with the themes such as love, sexuality, religion, corruption, and death. These are some of his famous poems The Flea, A Valediction Forbidden Morning, The Sun Rising, Holy Sonnets, Did Be Not Proud, The Dream, The Canonization, The Good Morrow, and Better My Heart. Now let me tell you about the poem first in brief. Broken Heart is a love poem in which John Dunn throws light on the suffering of a lover. The lover is seen burning in the agonies of love and his heart is completely broken as his love is rejected. John Dunn depicts how his own heart becomes a trifling and worthless thing when it falls in the hands of love that is his beloved. John Dean is here talking about the merciless lady who rejects his love and breaks his heart. He experiences rejection in love and feels as if he is fired from the continuous shots of explosive and destructive weapons. He compares love to a big fish that swallows and gulps the smaller ones without even chewing it. So the heart of the poet is the smaller fish that is swallowed up by the big fish. He proposes his beloved and experiences the rejection and finds his heart is broken. Let us see. What does John Den say in this poem about his broken heart? But before that, let me read the text first. He is stark mad, whoever says that he hath been in love an hour. It not that love so soon decays, but that it can tain in less space devour. Who will believe me? If I swear that I have had the plague a year, who would not laugh at me if I should say I saw a flash of powder burn a day? Ah, what a trifle is a heart if once into love's hands it come. All other grips allow a part to other grips and ask themselves but some. They come to us, but us love draws. He swallows us and never chaws. By him, as by chain shot, whole ranks to die. He is the tyrant pike, our hearts the fry. If it were not so, what did become of my heart when I first saw thee? I brought a heart into the room, but from the room I carried none with me. If it had gone to thee, I know, mine would have taught thine heart to show more pity unto me. But love, alas, at one first blow, did shiver it as glass. It nothing can to nothing fall, nor any place be empty eight. Therefore, I think my breast hath all those pieces still, though they be not unite. And now, as broken glasses show a hundred lesser faces, so my rags of heart can like, wish, and adore, but up to when such love can love no more. 
Now let us begin the discussion. The poet in the first two lines says, He is stark mad, whoever says that he had been in love an hour. The poet says here that the person who is in love and says so that he has been in love just for an hour is completely mad. Now when a person falls in love and experiences rejection, this sad experience does not end here. Why? Because love has so much destructive power that it can devour, it can swallow, it can destroy 10 people in a very short span of time. In the next four lines, the poet says, Who will believe me if I swear that I have had the plague a year? The poet is comparing the two things here. The poet is comparing love, the monstrous power of love with that of the plague, that is the deadly disease that kills so many people. So love is destructive like the plague. Who would not laugh at me if I should say I saw a flash of powder burn a day? Now here in these lines, the poet makes one more comparison and says love is so destructive. Love is so destructive like that of destructive weapons which destroy life and property. So Love is destructive, like that of a plague, like that of destructive weapons, which destroy. Let us move to the next part. Ah, what a trifle is a heart. If once into love's hands it come. The poet here talks about the sad feelings of the lover. And here in these two lines, he says, that love is so destructive and what is the power of this destructive love let us see ah what a trifle is a heart heart becomes so insignificant worthless and a trifle thing when it falls in the hands of love so once a man falls in love and when he is rejected he experiences rejection. He feels his heart is broken. So this is the experience that the poet is talking about. All other grips allow a part, two other grips, and ask themselves but some. They come to us, but us love draws. So the poet says here that there are so many things which make human beings sad. And when he talks about love, when he talks about the lover, the lover's heart is full of griefs. But, but the experience of rejection, the experience of this broken heart dominates, occupies much more bigger space in his heart that it hardly gives space to other griefs. Means love becomes so important here. This feeling of rejection, this feeling of sadness, this feeling of grief becomes so dominant that we don't have time to think about other problems. They come to us. So there are so many things which make the lover suffer. But it is love that prominently occupies much more space in his heart that there is hardly any time for him to think about other grips. He swallows us and never chose. Love is a monster. Love is very destructive. Love is a monster. What does it do to the lover? It swallows us without even chewing. So, the poet here says 
that this experience of rejection in love, this experience of sadness, loneliness in love is like being shot by the destructive weapons used in war which destroy the human beings, the ranks of army. He is the tyrant pike, our hearts the fry. So you know what happens in ocean. The big fish eat the smaller one. So here the poet compares this love to the big fish. And what does this big fish do? It swallows the heart of the poet that is the lover and destroys it completely. Now let us move on to the third stanza. And let us see what does the poet say here about his experiences. If it were not so, what did become of my heart when I first saw thee? The poet says here that his, that his love is like the big fish. And what did this big fish do to his heart? It swallowed up. And in the next part of the poem, the poet says, if it were not so, if it is not true, then what did become of my heart when I looked at you first time? I brought a heart into the room, but from that room I carried none with me. So here the poet is talking about his love. He entered the room of his beloved with a heart. He wanted to propose her, but when he came out, he came out without heart. It means his heart was broken, his love was rejected, and he felt so sad. He felt that his heart was broken, so he left it with the lady and he came out. If it had gone to thee, I know mine would have taught thine heart to show more pity unto me. The poet, the lover says here that my heart is so kind. If it had gone to you, definitely it would have taught you to show mercy, pity on me. But love, alas, the poet sadly adds here that when he proposed his beloved, when he proposed his beloved, his love was rejected and his heart was broken with first blow, the first blow of rejection and his, and his heart break like the glass into thousand smaller pieces. It nothing can to nothing fall. The poet says here that nothing can be destroyed completely, nor any place be empty quiet, and no place can be empty. His heart can never be empty. Therefore, I think my breast had all those pieces still, though they be not unite. The poet says in this last part of the poem that nothing can be destroyed completely, and no place can be left empty in heart and therefore he says he thinks that he is still carrying those broken pieces and he knows it quite well that they cannot be united and now as broken glasses show a hundred lesser faces so when he looks very closely at those broken pieces of glasses, he finds his own reflection in those glasses. So once his heart is broken, torn like that of cloths, he says, my heart can like, my heart can like wish and adore, but after one such love can love no more. He says after having such an experience in life, he can never dare to love anyone. He can never dare to worship love anymore. So this is how John Den expresses his feelings of love 
he says that his heart is broken. Why? He fell in love. He proposed the lady. And what happened? He experienced loneliness, sadness as a result of falling in love with a lady who did not return his love. Now let us move to the last part of the poem and that is conclusion. Broken heart is a depiction of the emotions and feelings of a rejected lover. The lover falls in love and experiences rejection and remembers it throughout his life. He feels sad, forlorn and deserted and rejected. When he enters the room of his beloved with a heart, he feels his heart is full of joy. But when he comes out, his heart is broken. His heart is broken as his love is rejected by the lady and he burns in the agonies of love forever. After having such an experience in life, he does no more dare to fall in love. Throughout his life, on every turn, he recollects this sad experience and finds his heart full of those broken pieces in which whenever he looks very closely, he finds his own reflection. So, having these memories cherished in his heart for long, he woes not to worship love anymore. Thank you very much.